program is coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, and we're located here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our address is 5105 North Fifth Street in the city of Philadelphia, and the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our general overseer. We're off to a somewhat of a late start today, but we do uh, hope you accept our apologies for that. We had some technical issues, but thank God, God will never, never fail. Is that right? My God, the equipment we have may fail, but God never will. So we're glad today to be broadcasting back to those in, in Africa. Uh, I do believe uh, Mozambique and others are on air. Uh, those in uh, Mauritius and Rodriguez, I do believe, are on, on air today. Uh, so salutation uh, to Brother Sibale and those in uh, Mauritius and Rodriguez. Dieu vous God bless you. Uh, we thank God certainly for the saints in the other African countries. Again, the purpose of this program is, my God, for the, depart, for the preaching of God's holy and eternal word. And the purpose being to get you to understand what the will of God is concerning your life. Is that right? So here now, we're going to present you our leader, teacher, guide. He's the messenger, certainly the messenger of the almighty God, the apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. There is no God greater than him. Only God alone is worthy of all praise and of all honor. We thank him for his guidance and being the true sender and teacher of holy prophets and holy apostles. Most of all, we thank him for the way of holiness that have came and rescued us from darkness and have placed us in the marvelous light of God's word. To all of our beloved ministers and brothers and sisters that are gathered in Africa, to our viewers, audience that are watching in other locations, uh, we are broadcasting live to about five or six countries in Africa. We're glad to see Malawi. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to see my brothers and sisters in Malawi and uh, Mozambique and other areas. So uh, we are grateful. I'm glad to see Mozambique back again. We thank God for all of you. God bless all of you. So uh, yesterday's service on Friday, a total of, uh, I believe, 40 in Mozambique were baptized and 21 in Malawi. That's a blessing. As I believe that's about 61 altogether so far. As I was, that was our Friday's catch. And uh, we're still fishing. I greet all of my beloved ministers throughout Africa, Bishop Simbali and you that are there in the Mauritius Islands. So thank God for you. I just want to say to Bishop Simbali and, uh, and Sister Jessica, we haven't forgot about you. God willing, I'll be reaching out to you soon. God be our helper. We have been extremely busy, but God willing, we will be reaching out to you. I'm so grateful uh, for the word of the Lord. It is the most precious thing. It is the most valuable thing. And sometimes many don't understand the value of it until they are without it. There's nothing you will ever encounter in life greater than God's word. It's like a person who never been hungry, so they take food for granted until they experience being hungry. Then, really then, they appreciate what food means to them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this message, the message of holiness is the purpose of God for the protection and the salvation of your soul. That's why we're here this morning. You know, this, this, this message is worth hearing any hour of the morning. Never too early, never too late. So I'm glad 
for you that are scattered here uh, in our lower auditorium here in America to fellowship with our brothers and sisters in the different countries of Africa this morning. And God willing, now remember tomorrow's webcast will be nine o'clock, God willing. And as Brother Dan mentioned, uh, our apologies, please accept our apologies. We have technical difficulties. And sometime we, it, it'll be that way. But as uh, long as we're able to get it to you, yeah. we always will have difficulties, have hindrances. But uh, by God's permission, we won't be stuck. So you that are logging on here this morning in America, I'm pretty sure many of you are surprised to get a ping uh, and, let, and, and you hear a live message, but we are broadcasting and been broadcasting live to the continent of Africa, to several countries in Africa that have logged on who want to be right, to all of my visitors that are visiting the different locations there, uh, throughout Africa, we thank you for coming. And to all of my ministers, uh, Pastor Joshua, Pastor Benny, and to the other ministers, to everybody that want to be right, the truth of God is established by God. It's established by God to reach you and billions of others. It is the most effective holiness program today and I'm not just saying this you do good if you find any holiness preacher in the world that's getting this Bible results that we're getting I remember some preachers reached out to me from Jackson Mississippi and they said Pastor Jennings me and some elders were talking and we don't hear about no preacher Nowhere in America and the world where so many are repenting of their sins and being baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ on such a large scale today. And that's the truth. Amen. It's the Lord's doing. Amen. I, I, I can hear the old messages that Dan talked about. And when we come back from somewhere, we will report to the people. We baptized seven, or we baptized three, baptized 10. Next thing I know, the number started going from three to 50, from 50 to 100, from 100 to 200. And this can be in one trip. Why is this taking place? Because it fulfills what the Lord says. The Lord says of the increase, of the increase. You know, he talked about the increase of his word, the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So his word increases. Amen. It blossoms, it blooms, it spreads. So God, through and by his loving kindness that he showed upon the truth of God, is showing mercy to the world now. Through and by the message of holiness is an act of mercy because if you're lost think of it lost and then somebody come and rescue you that's an act of mercy so being born again if you will get this is an act of mercy to be born again to start all over again you know Jesus brought this <coughs> to Nicodemus and out of all of his education, he was dumb to the sayings of Jesus. For well, he actually thought that Jesus wanted him to go back into his mother's body and come out again and be born the second time. What a fool. <laughs> that lets you know you cannot get the things of God from the college. Now, I know down there in Africa, all oh, the preachers, they go to Bible college, seminary school, and then come out Dr. Lucifer. <laughs> Dr. Bishop this, Dr. Pastor that, Dr. Elder, and many of the African church goers felt honored that our 
Bishop then graduated from Lucifer Satan Theology School. Glory to God. Amen. Let me just educate the world. School don't make preachers. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? School don't make preachers. College is not designed to make a preacher. College is designed to make students. Takes God to make a preacher. So if any of you brothers got a mind to go to some Bible college in Africa, and seminary school in Africa, and take a few Bible courses and think that will prepare you for the ministry, it won't. But I will tell you where it will prepare you for. You will be prepared to go to hell educated. Yeah. Amen. You will go to hell smart. Amen. A smart burner. Burning in hell with smarts. Glory to God. Let us understand that Jesus made his disciples and made them preachers. Taught them. He died and come back. Then opened their understanding and sent them to the world. And they challenged the colonel-minded men who were religious. So theology, philosophy, seminary school, Bible colleges, it, it don't make you a preacher. So save your money. You take that money now, take care of family, amen, and do that which is worthwhile and productive. If there's any preacher listening to me now that's paying any, time, any kind of tuition to any university that's claimed that you get a PhD or a DD and you come out a preacher, you're wasting time, you're wasting money because God's knowledge is not in philosophy. That's right. Do you listen to what I'm telling you? That's right. God's understanding, God's information, God's wisdom is not in philosophy. That's right. In fact, the Bible warned us about philosophy and the usage thereof. In the book of Colossians chapter 2 and at verse 8. All right, follow me in your Bible. Colossians chapter 2 and at the 8th verse. Listen. Beware. Right then, that mean warning. Warning. You know, if anybody got a house and that sign says, beware of dog, yeah. I advise you to respect it. Oh, yeah. Believe it if you don't see the dog. Right. Believe it. Amen. I don't, I don't need to see the dog. If I see your sign, I don't need to hear a chain. Because the way I hate dogs, I don't need to hear a chain. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't need to see a dog pan, not at all. That's right. Amen. If I'm walking on one side of the street and there's a yard, and the moment I see a sign that says, Beware of dog, right then, I have an invitation to cross the street. <laughs> Amen. Uh, that's a warning that I have faith in. That's right. So I'm going to make a move for my protection. Now, the Bible says, beware. Beware lest any man spoil you. I want all my African brothers and sisters to hear this. That's right. Because a lot of churches set up so-called Bible colleges throughout Africa. Amen. And have you believe in, if you join this Bible college, this Pentecostal school, mm-hmm, this non-denominational Bible college. Mm -hmm. This apostolic academy. That's right. Mm -hmm. This Catholic school. They have you believing that if you join our Bible college, you'll be ready for the Great Commission. That's right. 
I want everybody to hear the old man so we can trouble your soul. It takes God to make preachers. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Hey, you're looking at a man that never been in a Bible college since I've been born. I never set foot in a Bible institute. No time, nowhere to learn anything that pertain to heaven. I have the best teacher and the greatest teacher. And my teacher is God himself and he have enabled us to teach others. So I want to encourage all men in Africa and the world, if you are presently given any Bible college, your money, stop. Get a refund. Stop, I said. Get it back. Amen. I want you to follow me in your Bible now. That's right. Get this. Colossians chapter 2, still at verse 8. All right. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil lest you. Lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. Through philosophy. And vain deceit. It's vain and it's full of deception after the tradition of men it's of men after the rudiments of the world it's of the devil it's of the world and not after Christ glory to God Amen. well that every Bible college you might as well just close padlock your doors that's right yeah that's right just padlock your doors and right. even set bear traps on the step to catch anybody before they go in there that's right amen Bible college will lead you to hell, God knows. That's right. Now, Africa, let me educate you with just some of the lies that's taught in the Bible universities of the world, seminary schools that I call cemetery schools. That's right. In a cemetery. That's where, they, that's where the dead is. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. It, it's not seminary. It's cemetery school. Right. Because when you go there, they kill you. That's right. They're killing you softly. That's right. That's <laughs> eh? right. Now, let us just examine some of the lies. Some of the lies that you learn at the so-called Bible college. This is what they teach you. They say there are five minor prophets and five major prophets and five minor. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. That's, not the, truth. That's, right. the, that's the tradition of men. That's, right. that's from the rudiments of the world. Yeah. The Bible have never said there are minor prophets or major. In the book of St. Luke chapter 1 and verse 70. Follow me. St. Luke chapter 1 and verse 70. Get this. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Wait a minute. God speak by the mouth of what kind? Of his holy prophet. When? Which have been since the world began. Wait a minute. Hmm. What kind of prophets were they and how long they've been here? As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. The Bible didn't call God prophets major no. or minor. No. They are holy. Holy prophets. You know, holiness rules supreme here. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. It just rules supreme. Right. So if any of my brothers uh, are going to a Bible college, it doesn't matter if that college uh, is, a, is, is a branch from some religious group from America. That's right. America is a country of hellions. That's right. Don't look up to America. Glory to God, glory to God. That's right. Eh? That's right. America is not a country that deserves to be looked up to. No. Look up to heaven. That's right. Amen. Until God say, look unto me, all the ends of the earth, and be ye saved, for I am God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. So uh, let's look at some of the other lies that you learn from the cemetery school. Glad to see the island of Rodriguez uh, and Minister Stevens and the brothers and sisters there. God bless your heart. Glad to see.
Hallelujah. So let us look at the different Bible college. Now, you got Baptist Bible colleges, Methodist Bible colleges, Lutheran Bible colleges, uh, Catholic Bible colleges, Presbyterian Bible colleges, Catholic Bible colleges, Pentecostal Bible colleges, non-denominational Bible colleges. You have some apostolic Bible colleges. All of them wrong. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. You see, the scriptures is given by inspiration of God. That's right. God revealed himself to men then open the understanding of men that man may be acquainted with the thinking of God, the precepts of God, the intelligence of God. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 16. 2 Timothy 3, 16 says. All scripture. Glory to God. All scriptures from Genesis 1, 1. Yeah. Revelation 22, last verse. That's right. Everything in the Bible, all scripture, all scriptures, is given by inspiration of God. No, it ain't given by a PhD. That's right. It's not given by a doctor of divinity. That's right. The Bible ain't never tell you take uh, three years of uh, history and three years of English and four years of mathematics and then you walk down the aisle of some cemetery school right. and your dean give you a diploma and now it says that brother Dan Thompson have finished seven years of Bible study now he have graduated from the school of Lutheranism That's right. now he is a certified bishop <laughs> that's right hallelujah not here. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Huh? Amen. Now, understand this, brothers and sisters. Being that the scriptures is inspired oh. by God, that same spirit that guided the prophets, that guided the apostles, and inspired them to speak God's word, that same spirit of yesterday must get in men today and inspire them to understand what God gave the prophets and the apostles and to speak what God gave the prophets and the apostles and to explain what God gave the prophets and the apostles. The inspiration of the past must be the same inspiration, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank God of the present. And Joe here, here, if the same spirit yes. of the past that worked in the prophets and worked in the apostles will work in men now, That's right. today, in the 21st century, then that teaching, that belief, that religion, may I add, will not contradict the prophets, Jesus, or the apostles. That's right. There's only one Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah, but I have to make it plain. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I, I said there's only one God-given Holy Ghost. That's right. The prophets speak. And they was moved That's right. by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Eh? That's right. The apostles speak right. as they was moved yes. by the Holy Ghost. Knowing this first. I want you to hear this. In 2 Peter chapter 1 and at verse 20. Praise his great name. Knowing this first. I want you to know this first. That no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. No prophecy. No prophecy. Of scripture. Is of any private interpretation. Was ever given by any prophet's personal view. That's what private interpretation means. That's right. No prophet put his personal spin on it. That's right. Gave his personal opinion. 
gave his personal ideology. That's right. Mm -hmm. For the prophecy came not in old time Praise by the will his great of man. Name. The prophecy came not in the days of old by the will of man. Now, when you go to college, you learn man's will. That's right. Uh -huh. You see, the will of man taught you yeah. five minor prophets, five major prophets. Right. The will of man taught you there's a trinity. Yes. Will of man taught you yeah. that Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. That's right. The will of man taught you that Jesus is a little God and Jehovah is a big God. That's, That's out right. of hell. That's right. That's the will of man. That's right. Uh -huh. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. When the prophet spoke. But holy men of God speak. Wait a minute. Amen. Baptist men of God. Holy men of God. So why are you going to a Baptist college? That's right. What type of men? Holy men of God speak. Catholic men of God. Holy men of God so speak. So why are you going to a Catholic college? That's right. Now the denominational men of God. Holy men of God speak. So why are you going to a non-denominational university? That's right. Apostolic men of God. Holy men of God speak. Why are you going to an apostolic college? To learn the things of God. That's right. Mormon men of God. Holy men of God. Speak. Do you hear the Bible talking? Do Holy you hear the Bible talking? Holy men of God speak. What kind were the men Holy that men. God used to speak through? Holy men of God speak. All right, preacher, 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 yeah. preacher. Yeah. Or it take God, I don't care what part of Africa you're from. You might as well take here. Listen to Pastor Jennings now. Yeah. Whatever college you went to that are watching, go look on the wall of your house. Get your diploma. Yeah. And this is your next move. That's, yeah. That's right. This is your next move. That's right. All preachers yeah. that went to a Bible college. Amen. This is your Bible degree. Yes. Yeah? You do that. That's right. Now, if you if you had some type of trouble with your screen, let me tell you again. Go to your wall. This is your Baptist diploma of being a preacher. Amen. This is your Catholic diploma of being a preacher. This is your Lutheran and non-denominational and apostolic yeah. and Mormon because you went to some cheap, weak college from hell and came out believing you're a bishop. That's right. No, That's right. no, That's no, right. no, 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 because the word of God says. Holy men of God. All scripture. All scripture is given by inspiration is God. divinely inspired, and then it tells us what kind of men spoke this word. Holy men of God speak. Holy men of God speak. As they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So, you went to college. Hey man, you 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 got your diploma. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got your diploma. You had your hat on, and your little dean gave you your diploma. And you took the diploma holding the dean hand, and you were so happy. Your wife went to the college. Yeah. Your, your children went. They're crying. They're proud of you. All you got was a roll of trash. That's right. Ah! That's right. That's right. Amen. He gave you a roll of trash. Amen. All preachers that are watching that have your diploma. That's advertising your college. That's right. You're not a preacher. No. This is your next move right here. I want to show you now. You go wherever your diploma is, in the office of your church, on the wall, where you got your license, even if you got your license from there. That's right. This is what you do now. This is your next move. Next move. Huh? This is what your next move is. That's right. Huh? That's right. This, this is what your move is. That's right. That's your license. That's right. Eh? That's right. The holy book tells us. Amen. 
Glory to God. For the prophecy came not in old time. Give chapter and verse again. Second Peter chapter 2 will start at verse 20. The prophecy. Knowing this first, I want you to know this first. That no prophecy of the scripture. No prophecy. No prophecy of the scripture. Of scripture. Is of any private interpretation. Came in a private manner. For the prophecy came not in old time by the, the will of man. The prophecy came not in the old time. By the will of man. By man's opinion. But holy men of God speak. Holy men of God speak. Yeah. As they were moved by the Holy Ghost. God moved on in them. In Peter chapter 1 verses 20 and Now, 21. in order to be a preacher. Hallelujah. God got to make it. That's right. So if I got any of my brothers got a mind to join some seminary school there in Africa because that school's affiliated with some church or some school in America. Beware. 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 Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. That's the devil's college. That, that's right. Huh? That's right. That's the college of Satan. Satanic beliefs. Beware. I want to warn you. That's right. I want to give your Bible that justify me warning you. Beware. Give chapter and verse. In Colossians chapter 2 and at verse 8. Beware. Give, give chapter and verse again. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians the second chapter. And verse 8. And the eighth verse. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Look out. Amen. Look out. That's right. Lest any university. Spoil you. Yeah. Lest any college. Mm -hmm. Lest any preacher, yeah. lest any religion yes. spoil you. Spoil you through philosophy. Through philosophy. And vain deceit. It's no good. Uh, they, they, they use something that's worthless and tricks you. That's right. Uh -huh. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Yes. And vain deceit. What is it? After the tradition of men. It's of men tradition. After the rudiments of the world. It's, it's, it's produced by sinners. It's of the world. And not after Christ. Now, again, let me go back, as I said earlier, and to update you on some of the lies that you learn in so-called Bible college. Bible college tell you there's five minor prophets, five major. Bible ain't never told you that lie. No. Bible college tell you that uh, John the Apostle died 96 A.D. in a pot of boiling oil. Bible ain't never taught that lie. No. Bible college teach you. Peter was crucified upside down. Amen. Uh, head down and feet up. Yeah. And Peter said he wasn't worthy to be crucified like my Lord. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. Bible didn't teach how Peter died. No. Where did that lie come from? From hell. That's right. Where is it taught at? In Bible college. That's right. Where did it spread to? In your church. That's right. Huh? Beware. I want you to beware. beware. Yeah. Bible college teach that the apostle Paul died at Nero's chopping block. That's right. Uh, it sounds like I got a former theology student here this morning. <laughs> huh? Amen. He can bear witness Amen. with what I'm talking here. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's what seminary school teach that the apostle Paul died at Nero's chopping block. That's not the truth. No. That's not the truth. No. What is that? A lie. Paul's death is not in the Bible. That's right. How he died is not in there. That's right. Amen. Seminary school teach. The Bible college teach. After the last prophet Malachi died, that 400 years of darkness covered the earth. What is that? That's the seat. seat. That's the tradition of, of men. Right. The Bible have never said how many years it was after the death of the prophet. That's right. Bible college teach after the prophecy was spoken in Isaiah 9 and 6. Under us a child is born, under us a son is given, and the government shall be upon the shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Bible college teach that Jesus was born 700 
112 years later. Right. Bible ain't said that. No. What is that? Somebody's opinion. That's right. Bible college teach that when Israel came, thank God, out of Egypt by the hand of God upon Moses, that it was approximately 1 million. 500,000 that came out of Egypt. What is that? That's a lie. Because the Bible said that the children of Israel number was as the sands of the sea. That's right. Ah! That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. So we have to come back to Bible. Yeah. That's why I'm telling the world, glory yeah. to God, by the permission of God, That's right. come back to Bible. That's it. Come back to Bible. That's right. Come back to Bible. That's right. And if the preachers of the world will agree they come back to Bible, everybody will have the same thing. That's right. Eh? That's right. Everybody. everybody. Glory to God. Yes. You know, you know, seminary school teach or the Bible college teach that it doesn't matter what religion you are. Right. You can be any religion you want. What is that? That's a lie. That's, a lie. That's not the truth. No. Because the children of God must be what God is. That's right. Eh? That's right. Now, to all different religions that are watching and listening, I don't care what you profess. If you profess to be evangelical, non-denominational, Lutheran, Baptist, Pentecostal, whatever you call yourself, if you claim you're one of the children of God yes. before you profess any form of faith, yes. any form of religion, That's right. you first have to go to the Bible right. and see that God profess yes. to be that religion that you claim you are. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Check it out, I said. Yes. Amen. If I got any African Baptist, if I got any African Methodist, mm -hmm. African Methodist Episcopal, mm -hmm. if I got any African Muslim, ah, salam alaikum. Yes. Amen. Peace be unto you too. Amen. If I got any African Hebrews, yeah. shalom alaikum. Oh, yeah. Peace be unto you. That's right. And you can call yourself whatever you like. That's right. But uh, whatever you profess, yeah. you must profess a good Profession That's right. Because you're among many witnesses. That's right. Now, if you got a religion, hear the old man now, and you're bragging about how many followers, who started it, how great it is, how popular it is, Amen. what famous person joined it, That's right. how renowned it is, I advise you, slow your roll. That's right. Slow down. That's right. Don't get excited. Come back to Bible and let's see is God in that religion. That's right. And let's see did God tell you to be whatever religion you are claiming today. In the book of Leviticus chapter 19. Oh, glory to God. Do you hear? We're going to make it tough. Tough. We're going to make it hard That's right. for the hypocrite. That's right. The devil has scattered religions all around the world yeah. to trick you, to con you. Mm -hmm. Not only in Africa, but the world. Right. I know they're in Africa. I, you down there, they in Africa call themselves Pentecostal. That's right. Yes, they do. In Africa, they call themselves Baptists. Right. Baptist Africans, Catholics uh, Africans, non-denominational African churches, apostolic African churches, yeah. Episcopal African churches, they're all over the place. Oh, yes. Come back to Bible. That's right. All my viewers throughout the continent of Africa and the world, come back to Bible. That's right. Come back to Bible. Come back to Bible. That's right. Let us see what God is. In the here, here, before you start bragging, before you start getting happy, before you start shouting and jumping around in that religion, first ask yourself, think now, is God 
what I am. That's right. Or am I what God is? That's right. I believe that's a fair assessment. Amen. Eh? Amen. Uh, that's a fair assessment. That's right. Glory to God. All right, let's see what God is. In Leviticus chapter 19, we're starting at verse 1. Hear this. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Not Geno Genesis. The Lord spake unto Moses. God talking. That's right. When God talk, everybody else might as well shut up. Amen. Eh? Amen. A-U-P-H-Ds and D-D preachers and got your L-L-D. I don't care. I don't care what you got. Who's talking? And the Lord spake unto Moses. The Lord. Amen. Know ye the Lord that he's God. That's right. God speak to Moses. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Speak to all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say unto them, ye shall be holy. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Who spoke to Moses? The Lord speak. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. And let us read what God told Moses. And say unto them, ye shall be holy. Now viewers that are in Africa, and you that are visiting the different assemblies, yeah. if you're a Baptist today, Amen. if you are evangelical, yes. if you are Pentecostal pastor, That's right. if you are apostolic bishop, Amen. if you are a Catholic diocese bishop, That's right. if you are a Protestant priest, Amen. if you are a Muslim imam, Amen. Glory to God, if you are a Hebrew rabbi. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, God is talking. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Eh? And say unto them, God is talking. That's right. Are you getting? Amen. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Tell everybody. All the congregation Tell of the everybody. Of Israel, and say unto them, Say to them, Ye shall be holy. He tells us, who to talk to. That's right. And he tells us what to say to them. And say unto them, ye shall be holy. So why are you in Africa saying, I'm a member of the Baptist church? Amen. I'm an I'm a evangelical. Right. It's God, wait a minute. You are evangelical? Mm -hmm. God didn't tell Moses to tell them no. that? No. Huh? Speak unto all the congregation of the children Here, of Israel. Here, your preacher supposed to have the same spirit in him. That's right. That was in the prophet Moses. That's right. And what God move on Moses to tell the congregation of Israel, and if your preacher mm -hmm. got the God of oh, Moses man. in him, Go ahead. he got to tell you Amen. to be what God told Israel to be. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. God told Moses to speak. And say unto them. Who's telling you to speak today? Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Who's prompting you to speak to your church? Who's prompting you to speak to your congregation? That's right. Who's prompting you to stand behind your pulpit and tell them what to be? That's right. Let's come back to Bible. Amen. Eh? Amen. Do you hear this? And the Lord spake unto Moses. The Lord spake to Moses, say. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And what? And say unto them, ye shall be holy. And what? Is the reason that the Lord want us to be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Do you hear this? Amen. Africa. A hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Africa. Hallelujah. Do you hear it? Ye shall be holy. God said be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. He wants you to be holy because he's holy. That's right. You know, he don't want you to be a child of his and then going out misrepresenting him. That's right. You see, when you say you're Baptist, you misrepresent God. That's right. Because God is holy. That's right. When you say you evangelical, you misrepresent God. Amen. Because God is holy. That's right. When you say you're non-denominational or apostolic or Catholic, yeah. you misrepresent God. That's right. Because God is holy. That's right. Now, in order, thank God to be holy, you got to have a holy teaching. That's right. You just got to have a holy teaching. That's right. And uh, you got to have a holy message that's centered around the thinking of God, yes. the precepts of God, the order of God, the scriptures of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God when you come to this, yeah, yeah, even the scriptures, you call it Holy Bible. Oh, that's right. Not Baptist Bible. That's right. Not the Lutheran Bible. No, Holy 
Bible. That's right. Amen. That's right. That lets you know that the contents of this book is not like nothing else. And 2 Timothy chapter 3. Says what? And verse 15. Uh -huh. And that from a child. And from a child. Thou hast known the Holy Scripture. What? And that from a child. From a child. Thou hast known the Holy Scripture. Now, I, 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 listen. Even the children. I, I have to bring the children. That's right. The Holy Scripture. That's right. I have to bring Hallelujah. the adults. The Holy Scripture. That's right. I have to bring all the bishops and elders. And mm. there, there's some fellas down there in Africa that claim they're apostles. Mm. Now, I want to say to all of my viewers in Africa, if any preacher that claim to be a bishop, apostle, yeah. prophet, pastor, elder, evangelist, but yet he don't re preach, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He's not a preacher. No. He's not a preacher. No. He don't preach Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues. He's not a preacher. That's right. Even if he got a thousand followers, that don't matter. No. Oh, no. Amen. The Pope got millions That's and true. he's not a preacher. That's right. Huh? That's right. I say the Pope of Rome got millions of followers. Amen. That uh, Africa is flooded with Catholic yeah. churches. Yeah. I want to say to all of my viewers in Africa, you take your little statues of Mary, throw them out your house, throw them out the church, and beat it to dust. That's right. right. So the priest can see it. That's right. Huh? That's right. You take that little image out of your house that's on a cross and take it out. Yeah. Beat it to Dust. That's right. Let it go blow with the wind. That's right. Yeah. And that from a child. From a child. Thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. You have known the Holy Scriptures. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. That's what made holiness so wise. That's right. Amen. So lucrative. That's right. So smart. That's right. So intelligent. And that from a child. Because it's loaded. Hallelujah. Go and take God with the Hallelujah. Go and take God. That's right. It's loaded, I said. Oh, yes. Thank God. God with the wisdom of God. That's right. Amen. So philosophy, let's go back to that now in the book of Colossians. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Colossians chapter 2 and at verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So when you go and drive to churches there in Africa mm -hmm. and you see the sign of the church mm -hmm. and they call the preacher Dr. Reverend so-and-so. Yeah. Doctor, Reverend so and so. Mm. Doctor, Re and then they got behind his name, DD, yeah. PhD, yes. LLD. Amen. He's trying to show you why he's advertising how he went to school right. to be a preacher. That's right. No, he went to school to be an educated false prophet. That's right. That's all that is. That's it. The whole world right. must be born again. Yes. And this is what religion has missed. Yeah. Jesus talked to Nicodemus, who was educated. That's right. In the third chapter of the book of St. John. And at verse 1. Says what? There was a man of the Pharisees named There was Nicodemus. a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A ruler of he the Jews. He was a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night. Came in the nighttime. And said unto him, Rabbi, teacher, we know. Rabbi, what you mean, teacher? Mm -hmm. We know that thou art a teacher that come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou do. Nobody can do what you do unless God be with them. Jesus answered and said unto him, What? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Verily, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born again. Now notice, Jesus didn't look at his position. No. He ain't care nothing about he was a, a teacher, a ruler. Right. A ruler. He ain't mean nothing to Jesus. That's right. He, Jesus was the ruler of all rulers. That's right. Huh? That's right. Nicodemus didn't impress Jesus. No. He come along complimenting Jesus. I know that. Nobody can do what you do unless God be with them. That's right. Pat him on the back. Yeah. Jesus spent the whole conversation around. Jesus answered and said unto Jesus him. Jesus let Nicodemus know, I don't want to hear that. It's time for you to get it right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Get it right. 
Amen. Jesus spent the whole conversation around. That's right. What did he say? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Verily, verily, I say to you. Except a man be born again. That's what I'm saying to Africa now. Amen. And the world. Amen. You can attach the world to it. That's right. Except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. You can't see the kingdom. And that's what the prosperity preachers don't teach you. No. That's what the Bible college preachers don't teach you. Right. They don't teach you how to be born again the way the Bible says do it that's or right. the way the Holy Scriptures have instructed to be done. That's right. Listen at this now. Nicodemus says unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? How can a man, you see how dumb he was? <laughs> a, a dumb ruler of Ooh, Jews. That's right. Amen. Ruler of the Jews, yet dumb. Yes. Because what Jesus was bringing was spiritual, and Nicodemus was colonel. That's right. Listen. How can a man be born when he is old? What? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? You know that's ignorant. Oh, yes. That's, that's the peak of stupidity. That's right. That's the peak of stupidity. That's right. That lets you know the Sam Hedrian court didn't help him. No. Didn't educate him. No, no. Huh? No. That let you know whatever university or college he went to, mm -hmm. if any, it didn't help him. That's right. He had it all wrong. That's right. Look at the question he asked the Messiah. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? Can he born? enter the second time mm -hmm. into the mother's womb? And be born. Can you imagine that? Amen. Here you 25 years old, 160 pounds, somebody tell you to be born again. And you're so mentally warped, yeah. you think that mean uh, for you to clam right back in. Right. The womb of your mother. That's right. I mean, get back in. Suit on, jacket, tie, shoes, everything. Everything. Uh, everything gets close. Just go back where you come from. That's right. <laughs> huh? Amen. How blind. How deceive of the devil. Yeah. Now, viewers, just like Nicodemus didn't have a clue what Jesus was talking about. Your pastor, yeah. these, bish these bishops, these so-called apostles right. don't have a clue yeah. how to be born again. That's right. Uh -huh. Nicodemus says unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? What? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yes. Jesus answered verily, Jesus verily, I said, say unto thee. truly, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born of water. Except. Look at him. Amen. Breaking it down. Right. Making it plain. Except a man is born of water, of water and of the spirit and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus didn't preach to bow your head and raise your hands. No, he didn't. Where that come from? Men. Men. Jesus didn't teach uh, get on a mourner's bench yeah. and get several different works of grace. No, 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 no. Where did that come from? Men. That's right. Jesus didn't teach to join a church and you save. No. Where that come from? Men. That's right. Jesus ain't never taught prayer, send us prayer. Amen. Tradition of men. That's right. This is what Jesus taught. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except, truly, truly, I say to you, water, except a man is born of water. And of the spirit. And of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You got to have water and spirit to be born again. That's right. All right. That which is born of the flesh that is flesh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. What is it? Marvel not that I said Don't you be thee. surprised at this lesson. Ye must be born again. Y you don't have to do it. Ye must be born again. No, one save, always save. Ye must be born again. Everybody in Africa and the world. That's right. You must be born again. You got to be born again. That's right. Everybody, the poor, all the preachers, yeah. all the preachers in Africa, all the church members. That's right. Now, if that church is not holy, Right now, leave that church. That's right. If you are visiting any of the locations of Africa, watching us today, if you're a visitor, don't you go back to your church no more. That's right. At all. That's right. Because you must be, be born, born again. again. That's right. Now, when you're born of the water, you obey what Peter preached. That's right. Peter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Peter. Thank God was an apostle. That's right. Walk with Jesus. Amen. Talk with Jesus. Yes. Ate with Jesus. Amen. Handled him. That's right. Was an eyewitness of him. That's right. Thank God. And was on the receiving end yes. 
of the lessons of God. That's right. Jesus was God manifested in the, flesh. in the flesh. Thank God. Flesh and blood did not reveal these things to Peter, right. but the Spirit of God made it known to the apostles. That's right. Amen. Peter stood up That's right. on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. And set in the beginning at verse 36, if you at will. Verse 36. Says what? Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly. Therefore. Let all Africa know a Charlotte. That God hath made that same Jesus. You see, I'm, I'm, talking I'm talking to Africa now. Africa now. Huh? That's right. I'm talking to Africa now. That's right. I want all Africa to know. That's right. I, amen. I want, if you're in the Sahara Hallelujah. on the back of a camel. That's right. Watching me on your cell phone. That's right. Hey Amen. I want you to know that. That all the house While you're on Israel. the hump of the camel. That's right. I want you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know it. That's right. Yeah. Therefore, let all the Therefore. house know surely. I want Egypt to know. Oh, amen. amen. I want Ethiopia to know. That's right. I want Nigeria to know. That's right. You just living in the Congo. I want you to know this. Amen. I want Tanzania and Kenya to know it. That's right. Amen. You that's in Saudi Arabia. Hallelujah. Amen. The United Arab Emirates. I want you to know. That's right. Amen. Zimbabwe, Zambia. Thanks Go be ahead. unto God, Johannesburg. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go take God. Let all Africa know. No, assuredly. Amen. Doesn't matter where you live at now. That's right. That's Noah, right. No, you that's in the Ivory Coast, you got to know. That's right. No, assuredly. That God has made that same Jesus. What did God do? God has made that same Jesus. God has made that same Jesus. Whom he have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Whom he, whom died on the cross. Both Lord and he's Christ. He's Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this. When you hearing it. That's right. Africa. That's right. You are hearing it. Amen. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were moved. That's right. That's what that means. They were pricked in their heart. When you're pricked in your heart, you'll be moved. That's right. Amen. That, the message fell yesterday morning, and I was looking at some of the comments from different parts of the country, mm -hmm. even here in America, mm -hmm. and in foreign countries, people just logging on saying, I want to be baptized. Yeah. Wonderful. I want to be baptized. Wonderful. Huh? Amen. Amen. E even, even parts of Africa that's, that, that's not sitting in mm. in the different locations, but they're watching live. Wonderful. Parts of Africa I never heard of. Amen. Pastor Jenny, please send somebody here. Baptize us. My Lord. A group in another part. Baptize us. My Lord. South America was watching. Amen. A group was yelling. We want to be baptized. Amen. Amen. England, hallelujah, yeah. watching. Want to be baptized. Wonderful. What? Now when they heard this. Go ye into all the world. That's right. Amen. It ain't no here. Yeah, it ain't no need for God Preach to put it, that in there. Preach if He don't fulfill it, that's right. Yeah, he got to fulfill it. That's right. If He got it written, thank God He, he got to activate it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And man, if He said go into all the world, oh. now He got to open up the avenue. That's right. He got to open up the way. That's Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Amen. He got to make it possible. Amen. 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 That's why, viewers. That's why we got this results. We just have to have it. Have to have it. We just have to have it. That's right. Because God said we would have it. That's right. He said of the increase of his government and peace, and the God's government is God's church. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who would take God? Now when they heard this. You hearing it? Amen. Africa? You hearing it? That's right. You better get ready, young man. That's right. Young man, young woman. Amen. Preacher. You better get ready to obey this. Now when they heard this, when they, heard this they, they were was moved. In heart. They were moved in the heart. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles. What is it? Men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. This is how you're born again. That's right. This is how you receive the Bible salvation. That's right. Bible ain't say bow your head. No. Raise your hands no. and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Amen. Bible ain't say look at some liar on television and put your hand on the television and ask God to come in your heart. You ain't saved. No. There's many of you watching me now. You saw some preacher in your country. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You that are watching me in Africa and America and in Europe and in the Asiatic world, and Australia, and New Zealand, many of you have looked at some preacher on television. Yeah. And the preacher said, if you want to be saved, touch the television. That's right. And then that liar told you to repeat after him, mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, come in my heart. I'm a sinner. 
wash me white as snow. And after you said that lie, that false prophet said, you're saved. You're not saved. That's right. He's a liar. Amen. Even if you call himself an apostle, yeah. he's a liar. That's right. If you call himself a prophet, yeah. he's a liar. That's right. If you call himself a bishop, an elder, a pastor, an evangelist, he's a liar. That's right. That's right. The holy book says what? Men and brethren, what shall we do? Men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do to get right? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Yeah. Amen. You see, the same spirit that was in the Apostle Peter is in me now. That's right. That's why I'm compelled to tell you the same thing that Peter told. Hallelujah. That's right. That Peter told them on the day of Pentecost. That spirit compels me. That's right. I mean, it drives me. Yeah. And anytime a man tell you to be saved, bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ where you're at. That's the devil compelling him. That's right. Not Jesus. That's right. Not the Holy Ghost. No. That's the devil out of hell. That's right. Moving on that preacher. That's right. But when you got the Holy Ghost, Amen. like they got it on the day of Pentecost, yeah. then that same spirit that moved Peter yes. will compel you today. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Then Peter Amen. said to them, Repent. Now, Africa, the entire continent, you got to repent. That's right. I don't care who you are, if you're a white African. Yeah. Here, here, here. You got to repent. That's right. If you're so white, you're blending with the clouds. Amen. You got to repent. That's right. If you're black, brown, or yellow, yeah. all of the African government. Amen. 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 All you soldiers out there. That's right. You got to put your guns down. That's right. Amen. Go and take God. You got to disarm yourself. That's right. You got to lay aside your machete from committing so many murders. Amen. Repent. Ben Peter said unto them, repent. 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 Amen. That captain got to repent. That's right. For giving his soldiers charge to go into that village and rape them women and rape them girls repent. and murder them men. That's right. And murder their father. Repent. And murder their brother. That's right. And murder their sons. That's right. What is that? Repent. Hallelujah. Repent. Repent! Repent! Hallelujah! All you military captains, Hallelujah. you military men mm -hmm. that went through any village, yes. thank God and done rape women, That's right. rape mothers, yeah. rape little children. Yeah. You got to put up your, amen, your weapons and disarm yourself and bow on your knees That's right. and beg God Repent. for pardon. That's right. And Peter said unto them, God is calling for it. Repent. Hallelujah. If you don't repent, you can go to the Catholic Church all you want. That's right. You're still a murderer. That's right. Huh? That's right. Still a murderer. Amen. Amen. That little child blood going to be on your hand. That's right. That mother, glory to God. Her blood Hallelujah. is going to be on your hand. That's right. You went inside some church and took a machete and hacked all the members to death. But their blood yes. is crying out That's right. from the ground. That's right. And so did Abel. That's right. Oh, we take God, the word of God said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. This is a warning. Hallelujah. This is a warning. That's right. This is a warning. Repent. Even if you murder in the name of a religion, you're of the devil out of hell. That's right. The Holy God said. Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. You claim you're a Muslim. Repent. And you raping little girls. Repent. You hear? You're kidnapping them. That's right. You're kidnapping a bunch of little girls yeah. with their mothers yeah. in an African village. Yeah. You're of the devil. That's right. You are crook. That's right. You're of the devil. This is what you got to do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Repent. 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 Everybody got to repent. What do you mean? You got to be sorry. That's right. About your criminal activity. That's right. When you're sorry, when, when, when repentance hits your soul, you'll put your 45 down. And when it hits your soul, you'll take your machete. Throw it away. Right. When it hits your soul, you are get off top of that little child 
when repentance hits your soul, you'll pull your pants up That's right. and stop raping that man's wife. That's right. What? Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Hallelujah. Any of you watching me now, Hallelujah. that's in the military of Africa. And you rape women? Yes. You kidnap children? Yeah. You're not a man. That's right. You're a coward. That's right. You are a worthless coward. Man. You're a child of the devil. That's right. If you call yourself a Muslim, yes. use a Muslim hypocrite. That's right. The Bible says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. 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 Repent, you murderer. That's right. Repent, you rapist. Amen. Repent, you extortioner. That's right. Repent, preacher. Repent. Repent, deacon. Yes. All you women preachers in Africa, you might as well come out the pulpit and repent for telling that lie because God have never Go called and sent a woman to preach to nobody. That's right. What did the Bible say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh, this is it. This, this is it. it. That's right. This is that? That's right. That was spoken Hallelujah. by the prophet Hallelujah. Joel. That's right. Who oh, take God and said what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Hallelujah. Who oh, take God? Praise the name of the Most High. Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. You young boys. Repent. That's in these military. Hallelujah. Throw your rifles down. That's right. Throw your guns down. That's right. Run for your life. That's it. Ask God to forgive you. That's right. For killing your own mother. Yeah. Because some sick man told you to prove yourself. That's right. So you murdered your mother and your father. That's right. Just to feel like you can belong to a group. Amen. The word of God says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Do you hear this? Amen. Do you hear this? Repent. It's time to be sorry. That's right. Huh? That's right. I remember when I was in Sierra Leone, West Africa, yeah. some years ago. And, uh, and a former captain of the Sierra Leone Army. Picked us up from the airport. Amen. And one day he was a Muslim. He was born a Muslim. And uh, he was named was Brother Ali. Mm -hmm. And one day he took me aside. He never heard the word of God before. So the first night of service, that thing hit him so hard, he spoke just like, uh, uh, I believe, Agrippa did to Brother Paul. Yeah. He said, you have almost persuaded me to become a Christian. Amen. He said, Pastor Jennings, I've never heard nothing. He said, I thought all this stuff was the same. He said, but my brother Usman kept telling me. He said, you got to listen. It's not the same. Amen. It wasn't for long. Captain Ali yeah. went down in water. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Went down in water. Amen. Who oh, take God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I received word he passed away two weeks ago. Amen. But before he passed, he talked to me some years ago. He began to tell me of the different atrocities that he participated in. In the Sileon army, he said, Pastor Jennings, do you believe it's possible that God can forgive me? He said, because I'm haunted every night of the bloodshed and murder. I said, God wants you to submit. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Submit. That's right. Hey man, once you submit yes. and give your heart up yes. and give over yes. and from the depths of your heart Hallelujah. turn to him. That's right. Hallelujah. Go to God. Yeah. Turn Go to God Almighty. That's right. He'll forgive you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. God, oh, yeah, go ahead and take God. Amen. Yes, he will. That's right. Go ahead and take God on that. Peter said unto them. He started crying like a baby. He said, that's all I want to know. Yeah. He said, I want to make it to paradise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repent. Human family. That's it. You that are watching. That's right. Do you know why this message is so different from anything in the 20th century? God himself, Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, the most high, is giving you the chance That's right. to get right with him. That's right. Break up your folly ground. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, take God. It's time to seek the Lord. That's right. 
Repent. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. You, you, you see, these preachers won't touch these subjects. No. Because they're scared of getting threats. That's right. I ain't afraid of nobody in the world. That's right. But God. That's right. Yeah. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All the churches. Repent. All the Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Catholic, Mormon, Muslim, Evangelical, Pentecostal, Apostolic, you leave them churches. That's right. Pack up and leave. That's right. You pastors that are watching, that's a member of these organizations. Amen. Leave it. Leave it. Repent of your sins. Repent. Everybody got to repent of their sins. That's right. Your mama got to do it. Your father, oh, your man. children, the pastor, the bishops, the whole deacon board. That's right. All the ushers. All the so-called missionaries. Amen. You got to do what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. This is a warning from heaven. Oh, yes, it coming is. Coming through the truth of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. You better be sorry now. That's what repentance means. You're convicted. Yeah. You're sorry. Oh, yeah. Amen. Why? The, your heart is pricked. Pricked. You acknowledge your wrong. That's right. And you see the wickedness that is in self. That's right. Is displeasing to God. Amen. So God advise you now. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. And be baptized. Every one of you. Oh, we take God, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. You, there's, there, listen, salvation don't come in no other name. That's right. But in the name of Jesus Christ, and you, your whole body has to be baptized in water. That's right. And the name of Jesus Christ, for what reason? For the remission of sins. Now, let me explain what remission means. Yeah. Remission means for the removal of your sins. That's right. You see, when you was born in the world, you inherited Adam's sin. Yeah. So you was born with one sin on you. Yeah. And then when you grew up and began to do wrong rather than right, you became a sinner. That's right. So the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ wash away all the sins. All your sins. So the Bible says what? Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the name of God for, today. For the remission of sins. Listen to us. Malawi. Yeah. Mozambique. Yeah. Johannesburg. Yeah. Sierra Leone. Yeah. Mauritius. Rodriguez. Yeah. Tanzania. Yeah. Kenya. Yeah. Ivory Coast. Yeah. Egypt. God, I, we are baptized you while you're standing in front of the pyramid of Giza. <laughs> That's right. Ah! That's right. Repent. Repent and be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much the, of Africa? Every one of you. How every, much of Africa? Every one of you. How much of Africa? Every one of you. Every How one. much of the continent of Africa have to obey this message? Every one of you. Every what? one of you. Every one of you what? In the name of Jesus Christ. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That got from pulpit down. That's right. That got the murderer, the rapist, the extortionist, the gambler, the cigarette sucker, the joint smoker. That's right. Every one of you. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. So your sins can be washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy you Ghost. You ain't never had the Holy Ghost in your life unless you speak another tongue. As the Spirit of God give utterance. That's right. That's the new birth. Yes. That's how you're born again. That's right. That's how you get on God's side. That's right. All right, if there's anybody that's watching now, if you haven't seen none of the African locations pop up on the screen in a while. Mm -hmm. If there's any, anyone that are watching in any of the locations yeah. want to be baptized, and anybody here yes. that wants to be baptized, in the name of Jesus Christ, to get your sins washed away, to get right with God, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet if you want it. It's available now. That's right. Amen. I can't see. Amen. We got. We got. To see some there. Yeah. Stand on your feet now. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. Anybody else want to be baptized? Wonderful. You've got to have it. Anybody else want to be baptized? Mm -hmm. You've got to have it. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. 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 Glory to God. Wonderful. Everybody must repent and be baptized. That's right. Stand on your feet and get on God's side. That's it. Stand on your feet and get on God's side. That's right. Amen. That's right.
All right, Africa, God willing, they'll baptize you today in the name of Jesus Christ, and the ministers will contact us back and let us know how many. Yeah. Amen. We'll be baptized. I believe that was Sierra Leone that stood up. Amen. So if there's no ministers in Sierra Leone, we are send one of the ministers there. Pastor Joshua, we either go there or send one of the ministers there to baptize everything in Sierra Leone mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what everybody got to do. That's right. Everybody. everybody. Every, thank God for Sierra Leone. I see you. God bless your heart forever. Yeah. Amen. I thank God for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we are sending the ministers to Sierra Leone, West Africa to baptize you. I thank God for Pastor Joshua and the saints there in Malawi. Amen. God willing, we're, all of them that are standing will be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They contact us back and let us know how many obeyed this message. And then we'll come back again on tomorrow, yes. Sunday morning yes. at 9 o'clock, where we'll come back and Thunder That's right. after you again That's right. with this heavy artillery. Amen. Huh? Amen. We got some heavy artillery. Oh, yeah. Oh, we take God to give you today. Amen. All right. Let us all stand as we go before God and close out in prayer. Eternal, everlasting now, God, once again, we thank you for your divine order. Your word that you establish in the mouth of your servants, the prophets, and the apostles. Left it on record for us. We thank you for our extended family throughout the continent of Africa and the world. For the hearts that's being pricked. That's hearing the message of holiness. And now ready and willing to obey the same. Those who were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and those who are preparing for baptism, fill them with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues, as the Spirit of the living God give utterance. Lord Jesus, as we conclude this wonderful meeting on tomorrow, once again, which I know you will do, bring your word. Amen. To enforce your precepts in the hearts and the minds of the people. Next time, God, when we venture out for this, make it larger, That's right. more far spread, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. that many thousands Hallelujah. might be able to hear this message that you establish. We give you thanks, O oh Lord God Almighty, for your grace and mercy and peace. Until we come back together again, God and protect us and be with us. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let everyone say amen. 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 amen.